Come with us as we travel down to Boat Life Live at Birmingham's NEC. We see lots of wide beams and narrow boats and we visit Liam and the team at Oakham's to check out their brand new electric propulsion narrow boat. And it's a new chapter for us as our new shell arrives at Oakham's and is craned into the shed ready for fit out. We're heading down to Boat Life Live and it's our first year at the show. There were hundreds of boats on show including wide beams, narrow boats, speed boats, every type of boat you could think of. And like everyone else at the show, we couldn't resist having a good nosy inside every boat. Well, what a lovely looking boat. This is a swan boat. Do you know what? If I was in It was great to meet with friends and fellow vloggers, but as we say, the main reason for us being here was to check out this boat, Miss Feeder, by Oakham's Narrowboats. It's a very similar spec to our new boat being hybrid electric propulsion, and we couldn't wait to have a look around. <laughs> Fabulous. It's probably yours soon. It's like yours soon. Yeah. Should we do some more shopping? Yeah. 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 You can start your gen set remotely or through that control panel. Sorry to open the door on you all again. And then that's your electrics covered. You can add it in there if you want. Yeah. Just something to do for Diana. Yeah. Yeah. Too bad, thank you. You recovered from the show. I have. I have. <laughs> I slept like a baby last night. I bet you did. Well, when we got that logo done, I said, "Don't match about the colours because we're getting a sign writer to paint it, so it could be any colour." But they would send it in dark green colours. <laughs> then actually, I said, "Oh, actually, could you do it on a green background yeah. just so we can see how it looks yeah, like?" Yeah, we we said the bottom one looked a bit corporate. We're in the van heading towards Buxton because today is the day that the shell arrives. Uh, we've already had a really good friend Alex film the shell being craned onto the truck at um, Coldcraft and it's now on its way to Derbyshire so we're heading up there to see the arrival of the shell. This is the shell for our brand new narrowboat. She weighs 13 tonnes and is 60 feet or 18.3 metres long. And the trucks are driving north on the 96 mile journey to Derbyshire. On 
on a scale of one to ten, how excited are you, Anton? It's totally off the scale. Is it? Because <laughs> it means that the bowl will be on its way to being completed over the next few weeks, which would be amazing. Crazy, isn't it? out in the countryside here. Look at this. <laughs> you don't see this every day. Look at this. We've had to pull over so we can get past. One sec. Go on. They're all chasing me down the road. Stay here! Stay! Stop! <laughs> Stop! Stop! That's it. I'm going. <laughs> They're well trained. Right. Legging it. <laughs> Just look at this for a setting. This is the home of Oakham's Narrowboat. They're going to take delivery of our coal craft shell and fit out our brand new narrowboat. We've been waiting for this day for seven months and we can't believe that this is the day the shell arrives. Wow, well, we're here. We're at Oakham's now. We are Oakham's. Look what's behind us. It's just arrived. We'll show you the crane footage of it arriving because how they get it down there with no idea no. just watch this <laughs> you can just spot the lorry patiently waiting down the road and this is the gap that they've got to reverse into yeah. don't forget this narrowboat is 60 feet long and it weighs 13 tons There are two shells arriving today, so once one is in, we wait for the other one to back into place before the crane arrives. It's a lot colder than last time we were here, isn't it? Oh yeah, do you remember last time we came here to announce we are getting a new boat? And it was glorious weather, yeah. wasn't it? And look at it now, we're like, oh, it's freezing. freezing. Imagine the sun's out. Yeah. I'm just hoping Liam's got that kettle on. Yeah, I'm super excited, but I need the toilet. I'm gonna have to run. <laughs> How old are you? We just arrived just before the boat arrived. So. We did, literally. That was good timing. You yeah. wanted to turn back as well, didn't you? I know, yeah. I was going to turn back because I forgot something for the GoPro, but never mind. We're here and look at it. It looks enormous. The trucks are ace. I'm dying to get inside one of these trucks. We're here as well with Phil, who's also getting a boat built at the exact same time as us. And we'll show you his shell is over on that well, side. Well, we're actually not sure whose is whose, are we? Yet? No, no. Yeah, we'll they both look identical. Yeah, we'll go over it with a fine tooth comb and we're bags you the best one, <laughs> like you do in a hotel. <laughs> when you have that room, you can have that one. This isn't the final colour of the boat, it's covered in jolten paint to protect the steel from rust and the final colour will be painted over the top. They're getting all the straps off ready for the crane arriving and it should be here any minute now but look at the size of these trucks, no, they're, they're amazing, absolutely aren't they? ginormous. The one behind looks like um, Transformers I think. Oh, yeah. I'm dying to get in the cabin and have a look round, do you think they'll let us in the cab? I'm sure they will if you yeah. ask nicely. Yeah, I'm going to do. It wasn't long before the guys arrived on the crane and got into position. Considering our new home was going to be hoisted up in the air on a crane, we were quite relaxed. We'd seen this done a few times and we knew we were in safe hands.
were going to be three narrowboat shells in the shed and space was tight so once the shell was down on the ground the guys had to get it over into position so that we could get our narrowboat shell in the middle. And of course being in England it had to start raining. Oh, what I do now is put two skid skates there and just winch that in. Anyone recognise Ryan? It helped to build our first narrowboat. Once the first boat was in and moved over to position, it was time for our boat to be hoisted into the shed. We got out of the rain and crashed on the floor and went over the finer details of what was included on the boat. Right. And then you've got the digital control panel and then you've got the gem set which is six and a half. Going down onto batteries, you haven't got the AGMs, you've got the lithium. Yeah. You, you've done lithium as well, yeah. haven't you? So it, it's the 800 amp hour lithium ones. You did the lithium, didn't you? I think the grey ones look too dark. We had one last look around the shells and we can't believe how massive they seem when they're empty inside. We're going to film every single stage of the boat build so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. It's completely free. Thanks for watching, have a great week.